What up, Transformer fans? This is Sean Long in the Transformers Matrix, bringing another Transformers Revenge of Fallen movie toy review. This time on the Transformers 2 Revenge of Fallen movie Voyager, Bludgeon! So here we got Bludgeon. He's a Japanese-inspired tank, very much like the movie leader uh, Brawl one, and very nice. You can see he has a Decepticon symbol right there on the side, and really nice. He has little... Um, uh, missile launchers right there and a rotating gun turret. One thing to be careful for his little gun turret here here and his little uh, sword uh, right here they all get a little warped. All of these are warped out of the packet so be aware of that but you can definitely fix that with some warm water. He also has a Decepticon symbol right there. His turret does rotate 360 degrees which is great. He has rubber treads on the bottom but they don't move so he has four orange wheels right here which does roll pretty good. For a little size comparison here you can see Bludgeon right next to a Voyager or Demolisher. You can see he's a little longer but not as tall. So you can see he's a good sized Voyager. One thing you can notice on the box for Bludgeon, it has the new uh, Nest Global Alliance. Uh, this is the new line in the Revenge of Fawns here, just like the All Spark Power Line. It's also nicely on the box and gives a cool little bio on Bludgeon, telling him how he was damaged by uh, Autobot Whirl. So it's cool that how he upgraded from the Deluxe Bludgeon that came in the Toys R Us uh, 2 pack to this cool samurai looking Bludgeon. What's really cool about Bludgeon, he has weapon storage in his alt mode for both his weapons. He has his long samurai sword that is his tank turret, which is very nice. You can see it's just a great plastic handle, but it's very nice. Like I said, this is a little warped out of the packet, so you have to kind of bend it back forward. And then on this side, you pull out his little dagger, and it stores right here. This is also a little warped, as you can see, it goes to the side. But it's really cool that it has weapon storage on both hands. Or what you can do if Bludgeon needs to come for... Or in battle, Bludgeon can come for reinforcements and uh, give his Decepticon comrades some extra weapons. Oh crap, the Autobots are kicking my ass. Oh Bludgeon, glad you're here. Let me take that. Hey, what are you doing? Thanks Bludgeon, this will do nicely. Oh no, my manhood. To transform Bludgeon, what you want to do is take out uh, his swords, take out his little dagger right here. Now what we're going to do here is... Um, un detach these little tank treads at the bottom right here of all four sides and we're gonna fold them in on all four ends so fold them in I'm gonna do that for each side to separate his uh, legs right here from the body separate them like so now what you're gonna do with this thing you're gonna lift this part up we're gonna flip down his legs right here like this now we're going to lift up these parts right here and bring these little panels to the back. Bring these panels to the back and then you're going to put these little tank tr treads in here. And like, do the same for the other side and then place in the tank treads. When you have them like this, you're going to clip in his hips here to this section right here and they'll clip into place. You can see his little sheath pops up here for his uh, sword. Now flip the ankles to the one side that's facing on here. On the back here you want to fold down these little panels right here. Then we're going to lift these parts open and then we're going to flip out the feet. Flip them out and make sure they're straight. And then flip, flip these back down. Open them up and then flip out the foot here. Make sure they're flat. Flip that back down. Now from the top here we're going to split these pieces down. We're going to rotate this to the side. Rotate this to the side. We're going to take his arms down and we're going to open up his hands. Do the same for the other side. Take his arms down and bring out the hands. Then flip these pieces down. The last part we're going to do, we're going to push up the lower torso so that way his head will pop up. So push this in. And then you want to flip down this panel right here. And there you got Revenge of Fallen Voyager Bludgeon in his robot mode. Definitely you see he's reminiscent of his G1 Pretender self. Very samurai-like. His head is very cool. It's very samurai... Um, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder like. I like the eyes. His armor looks great. The de he definitely, uh, compared to the Deluxe Bludgeon, I really like this. That they gave him a new mold and he turns into a tank. Um, it's really, really nice. Uh, got the Decepticon symbol. He looks very uh, bulky but very uh, samurai esque and he's ready to kick some Autobots. For articulation, Bludgeon's head can move left and right. Um, his arms do rotate 360 degrees, but they do get hindered by the back part right here. His arms can go in and out this way. They bend at two points at the elbow here. They rotate 360 degrees at the upper part of the arm. His hands can go in and out. Um, 
No waist articulation, but his legs go uh, forward and back, in and out. They rotate at the upper part of the leg, and he does have some mech alive um, right there, which is very cool. His uh, knees bend, and they rotate 360 degrees at the knee, and his feet can go forward and back at two points. Legend, of course, comes with his two weapons, his sword and dagger. You can either store them in the low slot. He had uh, his little dagger in alt mode, and then you can keep uh, his um, sword in his sheath uh, right there, which looks very cool when he's not uh, holding it. You can also have him hold the, in the tank turret like he's holding it like in the back which is cool too. So here you got Bludgeon holding his sword and dagger. Um, it takes a, quite a bit of force to put either of them in there but once he's in there he, he will hold them very steady. He will not let go of them. Alright Bludgeon, you ready to kick some Autobots ass? Let's go. Long haul, one quick thing. I wanted to return the favor from Barlaman weapons later. Oh really? What did you want to do? Ah! Don't you ever borrow Samurai's weapons while asking again. So Size comparison time. So here you can see Revenge of All Movie Voyager Bludgeon. Definitely good uh, Voyager size where you can see he's slightly bigger from the head than Long Haul and but a little bit smaller than Ironhide, but definitely he's a great size. Now, if you're a fan of the G1 Pretender Bludgeon, you will love this figure. It's definitely one of the best tank transformers uh, right behind uh, Movie Leader Brawl. Uh, he has a great uh, robot mode, definitely reminiscent of his G1 self. Great articulation. I love his weapons. I mean, it's a samurai transformer that turns into a tank. How could you not love that? I definitely recommend to get this guy when he comes out in stores. He's definitely one of the must-have in the new um, NAS uh, Revenge of Fallen Line. Hope you guys enjoy my reviews. Stay tuned for more Transformer reviews as well as our toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like. This is Sean Long Run. Hey guys, wonder where I get all my amazing toys? Well, I get them at BigBadToyStore.com for BBTS for short. For all your needs, whether it's Transformers, DC, Marvel, G.I. Joe, and more, go to BigBadToyStore.com. They accept PayPal and they do pre-orders and they're just awesome! Never mess with a samurai. Oh yeah, man? Don't mess with the ninjas. Oh yeah, bring it on, ninja mofos.